Hey watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us the Seiko SRPG35. And I'm gonna give a quick shout out. I don't do it too often, but this is courtesy of Luke, uh, a very young watch enthusiast collector that I had the pleasure of meeting him and his father in store uh, about a month or so ago. And uh, has just ordered this one that came in and before I ship it out, said, yeah, go ahead and do a review of it. So. Here it is. I hope you enjoy it. A great looking watch to add to your already fantastic collection for such a young collector under the age of, I believe, 10. Um, so, uh, case dimensions on this 39.1 millimeters across this case, 37.7 across the bezel itself. And again, not listed as bead blasted, but very matte. Reminds me of a bead blasted finish. And then 31.8 across the curved hardlex crystal. And you do see you get some nice distortion there from the side, which I think looks great uh, on this watch personally. So uh, about 32 on the crystal, 31.8. Um, we have 13.2 millimeters thick. With the NATO, it bumps up to about 15.8. I did kind of give it a little bit of pressure there to get that NATO measurement. So 15.8, 47.5 lug tip to lug tip. We do have drilled lug holes. 20 millimeter lug width, no taper, it's 20 millimeters here at the uh, signed tang style buckle. We have a exhibition case back on this with a 4R36 movement. I'll uh, give you that real quick. And with that 4R36, 41 hours of power reserve. While we're looking at that crown there, we have a non-signed, non-screw down crown, but we do get 100 meters of water resistance, and I think it actually fits the watch well, uh, not being signed just with that uh, matte finish uh, to match the case edges here. 100 meters of water resistance, as I said. On With the NATO, I weighed it at 77.8 grams, and the retail price on this is $295. Um, so again, look at that texture on the dial which i think looks great i love the arabics uh for the hour markers you have your 24 hour markers on the inside i like the font used for automatic the second hand looks good i don't really have a lot to make it negative things to say at this watch at this price point i think this is going to be a huge home run and uh, i think luke you are going to thoroughly enjoy wearing this so thanks again for letting me review it uh let me throw it on my wrist real quick again i have a six and three quarter inch wrist give you an idea on how it wears for me, and give me a second. I am having a hard time getting the NATO through here. There we go. I'm not gonna bring that through effort of time. Just tuck it. So again, if you're looking for that field watch look, I think it's something to certainly consider. Let me hit the lights and give you a quick loom shot. As always, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. Luke, thanks again for letting me review your watch. And we'll see everyone in the next video.